This is a bipartisan piece of legislation, uh, and it has to be signed by the president. And I certainly hope, echoing the comments of the previous speaker, that the president will indeed sign it into law. This bill holds the promise of some measure of justice for the victims of al-Qaeda's horrific terrorist attack on the United States 15 years ago this Sunday. Time has not diminished the suffering of those who have lost loved ones on that day, nor has it brought accountability, and certainly it has not brought closure. This bill aims to change that to some degree by overturning the legal challenges that they have stood, that have stood between the victims and the justice they rightly seek from foreign governments and individuals suspected of financing the 9-11 attacks. I have worked extensively with the 9-11 survivors, the family members, worked with the Jersey girls, as they became known, uh, who pushed so hard for the 9-11 Commission that was chaired by my governor, former Governor Tom Kane, that did yeoman's work to get to the bottom of what happened and what we might do to mitigate such a crisis uh, going forward. But unfortunately, there still are gaps and this is one of those gaping holes that needs to be closed. Here today are some of those family members, many of them widows. Kathy Wisniewski, who works on my staff, who lost her son, Alan. Mindy Kleinberg, Laurie Van Auken, Monica Gabriel, Carol Ashley, who are here in the chamber and have pushed so hard for this legislation. Not here, but here in spirit, Kristen Breitweiser, Patty Gazaza, Sheila Martello, Marion and Frank Petchett also are with us. They lost their son, Brad. Uh, these are people who said never again needs to mean, needs to mean never again. So no other Americans would suffer what they have endured at the loss of their loved ones. Uh, this is why this legislation is another major, major step forward. You know, you look at the Foreign so uh, Sovereign Immunities Act uh, and, and the impediments that it has placed. As some of my colleagues have said earlier, we just want in court to be able to get at the truth. Who was part of the facilitating and the financing of the 9-11 murderers, the terrorists that killed some 3,000 people, 50 of whom, more than 50, who lived in my own congressional district. This bill also uh, as it would, would amend the, the Anti-Terrorism Act of 1987. The bill opens will open foreign officials to accountability to so-called secondary liability, such as aiding and abetting or conspiring with terrorist perpetrators. And these are very common sense and modest changes to the law that will hopefully get us closer uh, to justice for those who have suffered so much.